Hi there. Now for this question, we're asked to prove the identity cosine to the power 4 of theta minus sine to the power 4 of theta plus 1 is identical to 2 cos squared theta. So as usual, if you'd like to have a go at this one, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution or you might want to fast forward just to check it out quickly. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So uh, with this one, which side do we take? Well, I think it's got to be clearly the left-hand side because we've got three terms here on the left-hand side and so it's going to be easier to reduce three terms generally down to one term. So we'll take the left-hand side. So I'll copy that in and what have we got? Well, with this example, this is a good one because you may remember that in a lot of the videos, if you've been watching them in this series, I've said to you, remember the difference of two squares. Remember that is a squared minus b squared, say, is identical to a minus b multiplied with a plus b. It occurs a lot in these kind of identities. And we've got it again in this particular one here. We've got the difference of two squares across these two terms here. Cos to the power 4 of theta is the same as cos squared theta, all squared. And here we've got minus sine squared theta, all squared. So we can factorize these two terms. We can reduce it down to cos squared of theta minus sine squared theta multiplied with cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. Okay? And then we've got that plus 1 on the end. So what I'm going to do next is take this bracket here and we should realize that this bracket is 1. Cos squared theta plus sine squared theta, remember, is always identical to 1. So what we're left with then is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta Okay, that's going to be times by 1, so it's just going to be that. And then we've got plus 1 here. Now, looking across at what we've got to get here, it's all in cosines, so we've got to do something with minus sine squared theta. Well, that's easy because sine squared theta is the same as 1 minus cosine squared theta. Remember, we have this identity, cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is 1. So sine squared theta would be 1 minus cosine squared theta. So I'll take the first term here, cosine squared theta. Got a minus there, bracket. Sine squared theta is 1 minus cosine squared theta. And then plus the 1 on the end. And if we expand this bracket, multiply it through with negative 1 here. We're going to have negative 1 and then plus cosine squared theta. And then finally plus that 1 there. And what do we get? Well the 1's cancel one another out here. We're left with cos squared theta plus cos squared theta which is the same as 2 cos squared theta, what we had to prove. Okay, 